There have been black students on this campus from the very beginning. That's a very early French class on this campus. The picture was taken about 1917. You get to learn about yourself, like the true story of yourself. What I kind of got from it was a, a more in-depth research on our history and just uh, our culture. It has opened my eyes to so many things because um, as a white student from pretty close to an all-white town, an all-white high school, um, you don't get a lot of perspective. Definitely things you wouldn't learn in elementary school, high school. Everyone says like they dismiss racism with it's just, like they just don't know any better, you know, so like educate yourself on behalf of it and then you, we wouldn't have these situations. In order you know, to love everyone, you have to know what they're going through. They wouldn't dismiss the, uh, the issues yeah. as quickly as they do if they understood where, how it's deep-rooted in society and institutions. They purposely leave certain things out of history books. There is a lot of issues going on that make minorities like feel that they're not welcome. If it was mandatory for us to take a course, of a different culture than what we have already learned. I feel like these issues wouldn't be as big as they are now. I mean, if you could teach world history, you could teach African studies, you know what I'm saying? It's like white history has always been a main course curriculum. It's called U.S. It's always, right. yeah, U.S. Yeah. history. Oh. It's always, just always been about white people and that black people history, which is the backbone of this country, right. has just been an elective. How you're able to move forward from taking an African studies class. How can I use this privilege that has been thrust upon me for good? Technically, we should be asking questions like, why are we getting rid of that kind of studies department?